five moves for a concrete core. You might have an ABS day in your weekly routine, or end every workout with some ABS finishers. But are you training your entire con? Your core includes all the muscles that stabilize your spine, pelvis, and shoulder girdle. They run the entire length of your trunk and torso, including your glutes, hips, obliques, and rectus abdominis. So you need to follow a thorough strengthening program to be certain you're zeroing in on your core from all angles. Many old school, basic exercises like push-ups and squats are actually considered core exercises. And it's commonly known that elite powerlifters who squat and bench press huge loads have the strongest cores around. to the top position, while your lower back, abs and obliques all work overtime in order to maintain proper body positioning. Execution Stand in front of the barbell with the barbell touching your shins. While keeping the back as straight as possible, bend your knees, inch forward at the hips and grasp the bar using a shoulder width, overhand grip. This will be the starting position. While holding the bar, start the lift by pushing through the floor with your feet while simultaneously getting your torso to the upright position as you breathe out. In the upright position, stick your chest out and bring the shoulder blades back. To reverse, bend the knees while simultaneously leaning the torso forward at the waist while keeping the back straight. When the plates touch the floor you are back at the starting position and ready to perform another repetition. Barbell rollout, which can also be done with an ab wheel, is both humbling and challenging. Execution For this exercise, you'll need to get into a push-up position. Instead of having your hands at the floor, though, grab a loaded barbell, with 10 or 25 pound plates on each side, instead. This will be your starting position. While keeping a slight arch in your back, lift your hips and roll the barbell towards your feet as you breathe out. As you perform the exercise, your glutes should be coming up, you should be keeping the ABS type and should maintain your back posture at all times. Your arms should also be staying perpendicular to the floor throughout the move. After a second contraction at the top, Start to roll the barbell back forward to the starting position slowly as you breathe in. Repeat for the desired amount of reps. Pushing with your heels, lift 
your hips off the floor while keeping your back straight. Breathe out as you perform this part of the movement and hold at the top for 1 to 2 seconds. You should be on your upper shoulders while being careful not to overarch. Slowly go back to the starting position as you breathe in. Repeat for the desired amount of reps. Places a huge demand on all the muscles of your core. Get really good at it, while bolstering your body against injury, by mixing this move into your routine. Execution Begin by standing between two dumbbells. After gripping the handles, lift them up by driving through your heels, keeping your back straight with your chin up and shoulders back. Walk taking short, slow steps, and make sure you breathe. Travel for a desired distance, typically about 100 feet. Your form should look like that of a farmer walking with a heavy wheelbarrow. This move also challenges your grip strength and elevates your heart rate. Once a popular part of common oblique training curricula, the side bend is not as the right there as it once was. Lifters feared that this would widen their waistlines by thickening the walls of the obliques. The truth is that regular side bends will not only enhance your waistline aesthetic, but also greatly improve lateral spinal strength and stability, which is a huge difference maker in nearly any lift but especially on overhead moves. Execution Stand up straight while holding a dumbbell with the left hand, palm facing the leg, as you have the right hand placed behind the back of your head. Your feet should be placed at shoulder width, while keeping your back straight and your head up, bend only at the waist to the left as far as possible. Breathe in as you bend to the side. Then hold for a second and come back up to the starting position as you exhale. Now repeat the movement but bending to the left instead. Hold for a second and come back to the starting position. Repeat for the desired amount of reps and then switch up hands, 